Hello friends, how are you? Think about all the people that you consider to be outstanding. Be it Sachin Tendulkar, A.R. Rahman, uh, Virat Kohli, Ratan Tata, uh, Michael Jordan, anyone that you consider to be absolutely outstanding in their field. It could be a sports person, a film personality, a businessman, uh, a, a doctor, a physician, anyone that you consider to be absolutely, absolutely uh, outstanding in their field. We can actually say that they are gifted. A lot of times when we say, talk about Sachin Tendulkar or we talk about uh, A.R. Rahman or we talk about Lata Mangeshkar, we say they are gifted. They are born, they, they are so talented, they have this gift, God given gift that they have. And that's why they are outstanding in their own field. But if we then just take a step back and think about it, yes, we can say that they are gifted. But have they not put in each and every day of their life in practicing what they what they are gifted in? If, if we say they are very gifted in it, they have practiced so much every day of their life. They made it a habit to practice, practice, practice every every uh, raga, every uh, music piece, every um, every shot in cricket or. Uh, if it's a businessman, then make it a practice to become self-disciplined, to hold those meetings, to read papers, and I don't know, a whole lot of things that they just made it a habit. And that brings me to the second success principles. Success is a learned habit. Success is a learned behavior, sorry. It's something that we do consistently, and we make it so much a learned of behavior that it becomes automatically a habit to us. There was an interview I read uh, or I heard of A.R. Rahman a long time ago and he said when he was younger and all his cousins and friends and everyone was just, just they were playing around or they were having fun, they were watching movies, he was in the studios just practicing music day in and day out with all the adults around him, right? And that requires quite a lot of dedication. Yes, he has this talent, but that required a lot of dedication to practice it as well. Friends, these times are difficult. We, uh, a lot of people have lost jobs, loved ones, and uh, there is so much going around in this world. It is also the time to develop a new behavior, a new habit, so that we emerge successful once again. We, we can emerge outstanding as well. What are the behaviors that we can learn? behavior of self-discipline, maybe we want to improve a relationship. Relationship, we can always say that, you know, I want a better relationship, but can we take the onus of improving the relationship? I want a better life, but can we take the onus of having a better life? The more difficult the times are, the more we need to improve ourselves. How, how well can we actually work on our own selves really depends on how the outcome will be. Because events, like we discussed yesterday, events will remain outside. Events are there and we cannot change the events. The only thing that we can change is ourselves. We can change our responses. The other thing that happens when we start changing our behavior is that we want to, we, we are probably at zero now and we want to be at 10 immediately. We are at three or four and we want to be at 10 immediately. So let's say, take, take an example for, uh, for a moment. Let's just say there's been lockdown and extended lockdown and everything is going to be going on. And day by day, we've just started getting up late, you know, so it could be six. It used to be six o'clock, then it's seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And then the day just goes by in a very, very different manner. Now you want to actually say that I want to get up at six o'clock once again. I want to exercise. I want to follow a healthy diet. I want to uh, start working out uh, and everything just you want to change like a snap. What really happens is our neurology is not ready for it. Our neurology is trained to be uh, in a manner which is comfortable. And this is what is really the comfort zone. We, we become comfortable in doing something. We were comfortable in doing something. We started behaving in a different manner. We became comfortable in it. And now we want to change it again. We need to work backwards once again. And take one step at a time. If you're right now getting up at 9 o'clock, probably get up at 8.30 or even 8.45, just 15 minutes earlier, and then start reducing that week by week or even after every three days or something. If you want to have a healthy diet, if you want to say that, you know, 
this healthy diet is not something that I can follow. It's, it's just too much for me. I cannot do this at all. But I want to. I really want to. I want to have, follow a healthy lifestyle. But every time I start doing that, something happens and I give it up. Give yourself that space to balance between the two. Every successful behavior, building a successful behavior takes time. It will not happen overnight. It does not happen in a moment. It requires self-discipline. It requires dedication. Be aware of your why as to why you want to build that new behavior. The more you're aware of that why as to why you want to build that new behavior, the more dedicated you are going to be towards it. And it's very, very important to know where is this new behavior of yours leading you to? If you are committing to have a more healthy lifestyle, if you are committing to learn something new, because honestly, with so many jobs lost and the way the industry is moving, with the artificial intelligence coming in, the new lifestyles that people have, there is there could be a big requirement for you also and many people to learn a new skill as well. So are you dedicating at least 15 minutes a day to learning something new, to reading something new? That is very, very important. No matter if you just want to grow in your current job or it is absolutely required that you look for a new job, are you spending time to learn something new every day? So with that, friends, with that thought, I will leave you to it that success is a learned behavior. And how much are you ready to adopt a new behavior is really the deciding factor on how your success is going to be shaped. So thank you very much for listening to me. Do let me know any uh, thoughts that you have on this. My name is Prosperity and I'm an Inamo Shift Coach, a Jack Campion Certified Trainer and uh, a Stakeholder Certified Trainer by Marshall Goldsmith. Success is a learned behavior once again. Let me know what behavior it is that you are dedicated or that you are absolutely willing to live up to.